Are you using Google Trends to compare the search volume of different keywords? You may want to stop because Google Trends is not showing you the accurate search volume. In this video, I will show you why Google Trends is not showing you the right data and how Keywords Everywhere introduced a brand new widget that reveals the accurate search volume for keywords within Google Trends. So let's get started. Google Trends is an excellent tool to find the search interest for any given keyword. Now, some people might use that search interest as a gauge for search volume. Now, in this video, I will show you why you shouldn't do that, okay? So, for example, let's just say we are searching for SEMrush, okay? We are going to click on search term, and let's increase the time frame to the past five years so we can get some more data. Okay, so this blue line graph shows you the interest over time. So over the past five years, it looks like the interest over time has been pretty consistent, but in 2022, the interest over time has actually increased pretty substantially, right? Now, uh, let's introduce a new keyword. Let's just say we want to look at hrefs and we want to compare the two. So we're going to click on search term. So hrefs is the red line in this graph. So when you look at this line graph, it looks like both keywords are actually pretty close together, right? They're pretty close together. Some rush is beating hrefs, um, but just barely. But the story changes in 2022. It looks like in April of 2022, hrefs actually uh, beat SEMrush, right? And they are basically neck and neck for the majority of 2022. So when you look at this line graph, some people may assume that the search volume is actually pretty similar, but the search volume for hrefs is actually higher in 2022 or neck and neck, right? But let's take a step back. And let's understand what does this line graph mean? What do these numbers mean? So this line graph shows you the interest over time. So what is that? Um, these are the numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region and time. A value of 100 is the peak popularity for the term. A value of 50 means that the term is half as popular a score of zero means there was not enough data for this term. Okay, so this line graph is between zero and 100. 100 is peak popularity. Zero means there is not enough data. So when you look at this, it means that the peak popularity is in 2022 for these two keywords, not necessarily search volume. Okay, so we got the insights from this line graph, right? But the insights will change when you look at the actual search volume. So that's where Keywords Everywhere comes into play. So Keywords Everywhere recently created a brand new widget that reveals the search volume, okay? So let's show that to you right now. So install the Keywords Everywhere extension, turn it on. And since we are looking at search volume, you need to purchase credits so Keywords Everywhere can pull that search volume and show that data for you. Okay, so make sure you purchase credits. Now let's refresh the page. Now keep in mind the story that we created with interest over time. Now with Keywords Everywhere, you can see this brand new widget that sits above the interest over time line graph. Now look at this line graph from Keywords Everywhere. This is the actual search volume over the past uh, five years. So the story is completely different when you look at the actual search volume. You could see that SEMrush is actually um, significantly higher in terms of search volume. It's actually not as close as what we thought, right? The search volume is actually much higher for SEMrush, right? Now, when we look at 2022, both SEMrush and Ahrefs actually showed an increase in search volume, right? However, 
they are not neck and neck as what the Google Trends line graph showed us. They are far from being neck and neck. And Ahrefs is actually not um, beating SEMrush in any way, shape, or form, right? Uh, a, uh, SEMrush is still significantly higher in terms of search volume. However, both keywords have shown an increase in search volume. However, um, they are not neck and neck, right? So for example, when we go back to April, SEMrush uh, had over 17,000 uh, search volume, uh, while Ahrefs had a little over 11,000 search volume, all right? But when we look at the Google Trends line graph, it looks like Ahrefs is beating SEMrush, but this is interest over time, not search volume, okay? So uh, Keywords Everywhere fixed uh, the Google Trends data in a way where it shows you the search volume, which will give you a lot more insight when you do your uh, research. Okay, so go ahead and install Keywords Everywhere and uh, start using this and analyze this widget to reveal the search volume for the keywords that you are researching within Google Trends. So thank you and we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos that we publish. And also, if you want to check out our other uh, videos, make sure to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one.